go. How you doing there? This is Tom Barry over at Greens Farms Academy. I'm the grounds manager over here. And uh, it's the end of April, and we're starting to think about overseeding our lawn. So we want to go over a little bit what that looks like. Um, being part of the, the uh, Green Corridor, uh, Aspetuck Land Trust has put together a great plan for uh, creating a sustainable landscape. And one of those things is reducing your, the size of your lawn. Uh, obviously the lawn is a big part of our, our landscape in this area. Uh, and this being one of our athletic fields here at Greens Farms Academy, um, one of the best things we can do is, is take care of these fields in a responsible manner. Uh, and since we don't use pesticides, no herbicides uh, here on campus, the best way we can keep our weeds out uh, to keep our, healthy, our turf nice and healthy is overseeding. And this is the time of the year that we'll do that. So if you have small areas in your backyard, uh, you can use just little uh, tools to loosen the soil up, get that seed into the soil. Uh, that's the key to getting the grass to germinate, is having that seed down in the soil. So for small areas, you can use a rake, loosen up that soil, get that seed down in there. Um, you can rent tools known as slice seeders. Uh, and that's what we use on big acreage like this, is we have uh, tools, big machines that go and put the seed directly in the ground. Uh, and so for big areas like this, that's the best way to do that. Um, and when you're seeding this time of the year, one of the things to also think about is uh, grass choice, the type of grass that you're going to be seeding with. Uh, the soil temperatures are a little bit cooler still, even though our, soil, uh, our air temperatures are starting to warm up. So uh, rye grasses are probably going to be our best choice for yeah. germinating this time of the year. Uh, so our perennial rye grass is a great choice for overseeding. Uh, it should be able to come up within a week uh, or, or less than two weeks. And that's really the best thing that we have to think about, getting something to come up real quickly before our summer annuals like crabgrass start coming in. Um, we want to create a nice, healthy, dense lawn before those weeds start germinating. We're getting pretty close to that point, so now is the time to seed. So if you have bare areas, get seed down in there, get it into the soil, find the best way to do that, whether it's by hand, renting a uh, slice seeder, doing some type of aeration and getting the seed down the soil. All right, hopefully that's helpful. I uh, look forward to talking to you guys again soon.